It's one of all these book ponds in Britain, I reckon. The club's about 100 and about 115 years old, I think now roughly. It uh, started off from engineers, model engineers, and yachts, and gradually moved on from there. And uh, we're here nearly every Sunday, if the weather permits sailing here. There's about 80 or no, 80 odd members, I think, in the club. Two or three families in, there's two or three women, I think, and that's about it. There are not many youngsters, there's a lot more youngsters involved in the Glasgow clubs, but through here there's not so much... Uh, they tend to be either go and buy a, built, a boat ready built or go and play the computers or whatever they want to do, you know, play football or whatever. And you often get people coming down here and saying, oh, my dad used to bring me down here with a yacht, you know, donkeys years ago when I was a kid, you know. It's easier now for anybody to get into this than it ever has been. You can get the whole lot for... You can go and buy £170, you can buy a boat, ready to sail, radio gear, everything. Mm -hmm. So anybody can afford that, they can buy Playstations. You could buy a kit and make one if you wanted, if there's, you know, if you wanted to buy a kit of the particular boat you wanted to make. Um, but if you wanted to build from scratch, you've got to get yourself some plans and start from there, and get some materials and start cutting out the wood and that sort of thing. The club used to have a competition for the daftest boat and that's why I made this one, but they stopped the competition after I made it. I don't think John seen them, did you? Look, it's trouble, eh? Sorry if I'm getting it. I have no idea. <laughs> Volunteer will go in. Oh, that's that's. that's so, does that count in the submarines then? <laughs> well, I hope so. Anderson Yay. with the Neptune. <laughs>